Hey, Stock Trading Stu here. Today is June 22nd, 2021, and I'm going to recap my trades. Well, I did one trade, and it was not good. Uh, it was a bad entry. Um, ALF, as you can see, the, the stock that's up, uh, this ticker right here that's up right now, it trended up the whole day. It was above VWAP the whole day. Uh, it even trended you know, above uh, moving average in the middle of the Bollinger Band. A lot and uh, I just had a bad entry and I was gonna retake it and what I do I just sat here the rest of the day and looked at it I took a trade at uh, 1046 East Coast time which is 746 my time um, <laughs> and it was a bad entry I'm gonna show you because this is something I'm gonna learn as I rewatch this video and that's what it's really for I'm rewatching these videos as I take them. You should be taking videos of yourself, wins or losses, no matter what, because it's important. I think uh, we're all going to get better that way, and uh, we can all learn from each other. I don't want to be part of the 90% that fail. I want to be part of the 10% that win. So that's my uh, that's my journey, and you're going to be part of it. And this is proof, because down the line, I'm going to say that these old videos are proof that I had a struggle, and I was having issues with some losses and not finding out how to ideally enter the trade and good entry points and good exit points. So what did I do? Uh, I went at uh, 10.46 a.m. Why do I, you know, why did I have a bad entry? I thought it was a good entry. You know, uh, let's see, it, it pushed up here. Let's, you know, let's go over this one. You know, it had a little up. It did, actually, I, I'm a lion here. It did travel underneath the VWAP right here at the beginning of the day. And then right at 10 a.m., it never touched VWAP again. Uh, really close right here, but it rarely did. Um, so I saw this. This is one of my only trending positive tickers I was watching. Um, so I saw this bump right here, and then it traveled sideways a little bit. The Bollinger Band consolidated. I like Bollinger Bands because they consolidate. From today's trade, what I learned was I took the trade too early where the Bollinger Band wasn't consolidated enough. So I do like, you know, as you can see in hindsight, as a Bollinger Band, you know, as you, as you get the trend up and you get the Bollinger Band that, uh, that consolidates here, as the Bollinger Band top line and bottom line come move together like a funnel, that's when it takes off again, right? It could take off down or it could take off up. But the key here is to wait until the Bollinger Band consolidates. So what happened? I saw I saw this run right here, and then I saw it kind of consolidate. I saw it, you know, I saw this thing run sideways. The Bollinger Band comes together. I saw it run down towards VWAP. I saw this thing come from the bottom line all of through the top line. Okay. And then what did I do? Uh, I saw it consolidate. As I move closer, this thing had a big red candle and red candle. And I bought right here at 1182, pretty much right here. Okay. It started to run up. Uh, now I only had 10 shares because my account is only $3,400, $3,483, $3,483.64 today after uh, this trade and I only had $444 of settled funds. So what that means is I only had $440 to trade with. So I, you know, this is a, usually I like to do a hundred shares for a 10 cent to 50 cent gain. Uh, you know, ideally a dollar gain on one trade would be amazing. Right now I'm going for small wins because my risk is really tight. Uh, I'm only risking 10 cents per trade. So I'm trying to get those real good runners so it doesn't drop because 10 cents is not that much to drop on a $12 stock, you know? Um, so I bought it right here. It ran up. I held onto it. Now at uh, 11.82, in hindsight, I could have pulled out. This would have been a 20 cent gain. It would have been good. If I had 100 shares, that would have been a $20 win. I would have pulled out because that would have been fine. I wouldn't find for a trade that's right where I'm going right now. But what I do, I stayed in it. 
I watch this thing consolidate, continue to consolidate. I don't like when it starts to consolidate because you have a chance of it dropping off. You really want to, I like to take the trade when it gets to the end of the consolidation and this these bands start to move away from each other. The top Bollinger Band and the bottom Bollinger Band move away from each other. So what I do, I stayed in it right until I can, I'm laughing right now because I got out at pretty much the lowest point. So 11, right here, 11.38. It was a 44 cent loss. Thank God I only had 10 shares. If I had 100 shares, it would have been $44 loss, which normally I go in with 100 shares. So I wanted to act like I had 100 shares, even though I only had 10, because I'm still training my mind to have $100 profit for the day and a $40 loss for the day. That's the goal. Um, so I saw this red candle. I, I waited, and then this thing dropped red, like, this one was really red and this was actually like the lowest point of the day after that as you can see if i pan out it's going to push that 11 that candle right there that 11:25 candle that's where i exited but as you can see if i waited you know i shouldn't say that because if i had 100 shares i wouldn't have waited i would have got out 40 dollars is a max loss of the day i would have been done what I didn't do correctly was enter. Uh, I saw this run up. I saw a big red candle. That means I should be waiting till it consolidates and consolidate, 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 consolidate right here. You know, small red, small red, small red, small red, small green, a little bigger green, and then pop. Um, now, would I have taken this trade? I probably would have. I would have been a little worried about here because this was a red candle. And this was a little red because it consolidated again, then it bumped again, consolidated again, and then it came down. But let's say, you know, I would have probably bought in around, you know, maybe in 1235. And if I had the balls to stay in, you know, I could have got uh, a $1 win with 10 shares is 10 bucks. But with my normal 100 shares, uh, I could have afforded this trade uh, for. Uh, the allowment I usually have about $1,700 for the day to trade with. This would have been a big chunk, but these move a lot better. So in hindsight, you know, if I stayed in it, that would have been great. You know, if I stayed in it longer, I don't think I have the balls to stay in it longer, but it went up to 1490 And then I probably, you know, even if I did, this is a good out uh, because it started to drop again. Um, MACD started to fall below. You know, it came down to negative uh, 0.15. I would have definitely got out when it started to drop, probably like here when it hit zero. But man, this thing ran again all the way up to 1650 in intraday. I mean, now it's just aftermarket. It's going crazy. Wow. You know, wow. Uh, I'm looking for scalps. I don't have the balls to stay in it all day, uh, but I missed a ton of opportunities in here to scalp. Even towards the end of the day, when I was like, "Oh, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna hit VWAP," and what did it do? It didn't. It just popped again. You know, consolidated, consolidated, consolidated. The, the bands, these bands are only thirteen, fourteen. They're only fifty cents apart. You know, this band is small. And then what did it do? Pop, boom. You know, right from thirteen sixty four all the way up to you know, for 75 cents and then consolidate boom, pop again, consolidated. And this was the biggest red candle of the whole day, but then it consolidated and popped back up. I mean, it's, it, this was a killer stock today. If anybody, um, trade this well, um, more power to you. I took a horrible entry. I learned from my lesson. Uh, and this is why I take these videos. Uh, so my P and L for the day is negative $4 and 42 cents. Uh, not a huge deal. Uh, I live to see another day. Uh, tomorrow will be a new day. I'll have more settled funds. Uh, but my mentality is still off from having a loss yesterday, a loss today. Um, I'm going to probably take some smaller uh, shares of a trade just to get my confidence back. Um, why didn't I trade the rest of the day? I don't know. You know, I sat in it and I watched the rest of the day. I, I was, I was, glued to my computer the rest of the day. I was glued to this, this ALF ticker the whole day and I didn't take anything. 
uh, had enough money to get back in. I had a couple hundred bucks left. Could have took another, you know, couple ten share trades, but that's something I'm going to have to figure out. And that's as I learn and get better at this. This is how I'm learning. Um, taking videos, um, recapping my trades, and hopefully this really pans out. Uh, I'm only like a couple months into this, so I feel like I've learned a lot. My confidence is getting better. Um, watching a lot of videos about how to control your fight or flight because that's important because once I get in the trade, I get a little anxious. And of course, all stocks move on emotion, but I need to calm that emotion and let myself sit in the trade a little longer because I do trust, like this one, I trusted this thing was going to go up. Why didn't I stay in it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it did go up. It went up killer. I probably could have made my 100 bucks with the $400 I had today if I had the expertise, number one, and if I had the confidence to stay in it. So that's about it for today. I hope you guys had a green day. Uh, any questions, comments, please leave them below. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for some more. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.